Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. The ra Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? It would be fun to try out that one. And here was a handy workbench. Ravens had taken the town. Renato had seen villages emptied like this. All the people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. Renato had tried everything. Zenobia had loved him to death. The Sky River destroyed everything. The Ibla Stone had corrupted everyone who held it. He'd never put much faith in Lapino. But Lapino was all he had left. He wished there were more pylons he could use the hook on. He really needed to construct additional pylons. everywhere. 
the advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? Sharp? Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible? Check. What else do you need in a sword? Dirty and bloody, Bernardo finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Bernardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who happened to also be a deadly sorcerer, and, oh, his only daughter? Uh, that would be worth it. And it would be nice to see her. He'd always had a soft spot for her. And, he felt sure, she had one for him. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Bernardo had been to a dungeon once where all the chests had teeth and eyes. It had been a short visit. He hadn't noticed that path before.
What exactly was Lupino up to this time? You could see the wheels spinning inside his head. They made Renato dizzy, in fact. Power. Ooh, he didn't find those every day. So, what's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lupino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lupino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. Oh, go ahead. I'm sure you know better, said Lupino.